Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. The latest issue of Charles Soule's Star Wars comic series recently dropped and it was another solid installment in the story. The issue finally revealed the identity of the mysterious individual that Luke had seen in a Force vision and your boy called it, but more on that later in the video. For now, let's dive into the issue and what happened in the story. The issue begins with a con man posing as Luke Skywalker in hopes of securing some employment. Darth Vader arrives, kills the imposter, and then chides the Imperial Lieutenant that provided him with the intel that they had discovered the whereabouts of Luke, telling the Lieutenant that he's wasted Vader's time by pulling him away from his business on Vendaxa, referring to Darth Vader's quest in the Greg Pak Darth Vader comic series, which I thought was an awesome tie-in. We then cut to Luke and R2-D2 flying into the planet Sorelia. In the last issue, R2 was able to pinpoint Sorelia as the potential planet that Luke's mysterious Jedi figure was on based upon the description that Luke provided R2 about the planet. As the two descend into the planet's atmosphere, Luke is able to pick out the coastline where the cloaked Jedi might be, telling R2 it looks similar to what he had seen in his Force vision. After touching down, Luke comes upon a fisherman that's just returned to shore and is offloading their haul. But when Luke asks the fisherman if they're a Jedi, they quickly dump their haul of fish onto Luke and R2 before making a break for it on their boat. Luke and R2 commandeer a boat and chase after the hooded individual, following them to a cave that's along a coastline. Once inside the cave, Luke sets off a booby trap that nearly kills himself and R2. Luke then tells R2 to wait at the mouth of the cave since there may be more booby traps and tells R2 to let Leia know what's happened on Sorelia if Luke doesn't make it back alive. Proceeding further into the cave, Luke dodges several other booby traps, commenting that these obstacles aren't any worse than what Yoda threw at him during their training sessions on Dagobah. However, after Luke vaults over a pit of spikes, he lands on a spot on the other side of the pit, which is set to collapse. Falling through the trap, Luke finds himself imprisoned in a cell that is quickly filling up with seawater. Hoping to stymie the water from filling up the cell, Luke uses the force to hold back the quickly rushing seawater. As this is happening, the mysterious Jedi appears and rebukes Luke's efforts and reproaches Luke while he's echoing the all too familiar phrase from Master Yoda, do or do not, there is no try. After Luke explains that he was sent to Sorelia by a force vision and that he's training to become a Jedi, the mysterious individual stops the rushing water and reveals her identity to be none other than Verla. Totally called it guys. Verla was an acolyte of the Jedi Padawan, Farron Barr, during the early reign of the Galactic Empire. Prior to this issue, Verla was last seen in the comic Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, issue 17, fleeing Darth Vader and several Inquisitors that were searching for Jedi on Mon Cala. Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, was also written by Charles Soule, who loves to connect his various stories in one way or another, so it seemed like Verlo would be as good of a guess as any to be our mysterious Jedi. Sure enough, your boy was right. As Luke and Verla begin to speak, Verla enlightens Luke on the history of the Jedi that he wasn't told. Verla informs Luke of the Great Jedi Purge, Emperor Palpatine's role in declaring the Jedi traitors, and in executing Order 66. She continues on to explain the Inquisitorial role in eradicating any remaining Jedi following the Great Jedi Purge and that their leader, Darth Vader, still lurks throughout the galaxy. At the mention of Darth Vader, Verla is able to sense through the Force a shift in Luke's thoughts. Probing his mind, Verla is able to ascertain that Darth Vader is Luke's father and quickly restarts the booby trap that fills up Luke's cell with seawater, stating, good riddance, as our hero is now completely submerged. And that's where the issue ends. When it was revealed that Verla was the individual Luke had seen in his Force vision, I got super excited. As mentioned, Charles Soule loves to connect his stories by implanting objects, characters, and the like from one story to another, so I thought it was a pretty high probability that Verla would be our mysterious Jedi. Also, I love that she informed Luke of the Great Jedi Purge, the Inquisitorious, and Palpatine's role in destroying the Jedi Order. I'm guessing that R2-D2 is going to come to Luke's aid in the next issue and will save Luke's hide from this debacle. But what are your thoughts on the latest issue of Charles Soule's Star Wars comic series? Did you suspect Verlo would be the mysterious Jedi Luke had seen in his Force vision? And how do you think Luke will escape this mess that he's in? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.